talking that way? Well, so, my name uh, is... One second. Are you there or there? A uh, couple of things. Well, my name is Charlie Caper, and uh, I love street performing. I reckon it's the best job in the world. Traveling around as a street performer, I have been received in so many different ways. And there's cities where you're almost treated like a celebrity or a rock star, and there's other cities where you're treated like a hobo and, and sort of spat upon by society. And I actually quite like that roller coaster ride of, of uh, like, one week you're in one place and you get invited to some really fancy big party and you're there like, whoa. <laughs> and then the, the next week you're in another city and you're sitting under a bridge drinking cheap scotch out of a paper bag. And it's like, I, I quite like the, the roller coaster ride that that is. And I think it's good for character, actually. But there can be a real, there can be a real roller coaster in being a street performer. I, uh, my favorite places for busking are many because I like different cities for different reasons. Like I really like busking in Copenhagen because there's a really nice community of people. Uh, I used to really like busking in Ireland because I would make a lot of money. I love busking in Australia because it's so nice. You can drive around in a car and sleep on a beach and really relax when you're there. I like uh, busking in Japan because it's so weird and you get these insane reactions and kind of, it's very strange cultural mashup. And I, I really like busking in very small cities as well. Cities where maybe you can just go in and do one show and then everyone's seen you. But often that's a super nice experience. And the worst places to busk, I don't really know if I have any really bad places. It's often when it's too noisy. I mean, my, my worst place to busk is probably Las Ramblas in Barcelona. It's terrible. If, if they took the cars away from that street, it would be one of the coolest walking streets in the whole world. But because of all the fucking cars going down, it's terrible. It's a really horrible street to be in. Uh. I, I like freedom. I'm a freedom addict. And I think a lot of street performers are. I'm the opposite of someone who wants security and safety in many ways. I, I love to not know what city I'll be in the day after tomorrow. I love waking up in the morning and not knowing if I'm going to work or not. Waking up in the morning and going, uh, what do I feel like doing today? Should I do a show? Uh, no, I'll go to the beach. Or, yeah, I'll do a show. I really love not deciding before the fact. I really like sitting in a cafe with my show next to me, playing chess with a friend and drinking coffee and looking at, at the pitch and then suddenly deciding, I think now is the time. I'll, I'll just go and do a show and then go and do a show, finish the show, come back and make the next move, continue playing chess and like, I really like that lifestyle, it's beautiful. I, I think Street Performers is a really funny and nice little community and th there's this network all over the world of a couple of hundred people that all know each other a bit. I mean, we, we've had a lot of names that we know and like, and I really love that, that it's a community that really sticks together. If a street performer comes to Stockholm, I don't think I can say no if they want to stay on my couch. Like, it's just the way it is. They're gonna stay on my couch. I don't really have a choice. And I really like that bit, that we, we stick up for each other because no one else really does. So we have to do it ourselves. And I, I, do believe, I do believe that street performers is sort of a rest of old hunter-gatherer societies. I really uh, like that bit. We, we go somewhere and then we f hunt and forage until it doesn't feel good to be there anymore. And then we move on, we go somewhere else. And it's a strange little tribe of people. I really love that aspect of it. Oh yeah, I sort of, and <laughs> I ended up winning Sweden's Got Talent uh, two years ago, uh, partly from applying my knowledge of how to do a street show. I know very much about how to make, how to convince people to put money in my hat after doing a show. And I applied that knowledge uh, into making people call in and vote for me. The same psychology that makes people put money in the hat 
Turns out it works to make people <laughs> call in and vote for you on a talent show on TV.